Rubber band razors is designed to take a minimum of 45 minutes to complete for students of all ages using low-cost materials. Prepare for the lesson by reading the lesson plan, reviewing the PowerPoint, and gathering the required materials. Here's how to implement the lesson with your students. To begin, divide the students into teams of two to three. Hand out the worksheet and explain the challenge. You're a team of engineers given the challenge of designing a rubber band car out of everyday items. The car must be able to travel in a straight line within a track for a distance of at least 10 feet or three meters within a three feet, one meter wide track. Teams can use only the materials provided and may trade materials with other teams to develop their ideal parts list. The car that can travel within the track for the greatest distance is the winner. Begin by showing students the resource sheets and discussing the scientific concepts of energy and Newton's laws of motion. You'll find the PowerPoint slides useful for this discussion. Have them consider what makes one car go faster than another. In addition to the force of the rubber band, they should consider friction and how that may impact the design. Students brainstorm solutions, develop a plan for their rubber band car within their team, and draw a diagram of their planned car on paper. They'll have to agree on the materials they will need. Do they need to trade materials with other teams? Teams will then construct their cars, test them within their team, and redesign as needed. Urge students to work together to troubleshoot issues they run into. Encourage experimentation and remind students that there are multiple solutions to the challenge. Engineers learn from failure and then apply what they learned in their redesigns. To test their designs, use masking tape to create a 3-foot wide by at least 10-foot long track on the floor. Allow the teams to launch the cars, which must travel in a straight line for a distance of at least 10 feet. Measure the distance and calculate the speed. Each team should calculate their car's velocity. Distance travel divided by time traveled within the track. All teams then present their designs to the class and share their car's velocity. Student teams should then complete a reflection sheet and share their experiences with the class. Celebrate the fact that these students designed a solution using their creativity while learning how engineers impact the world.